Hey there, it's Brie Bear, and today's video is going to be the Thanksgiving book tag. This I found on the interwebs when I was like trying to think of what I was gonna do for a video for you know this time and I was like well maybe I'll check and see if there's a Thanksgiving book tag and I decided to go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and get into the questions. So number one is bread. Purely fluff, no real plot line. So it's talking about a book that's just you know kind of fluffy and for that I chose the Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy, this is just like, there's no plot at all. <laughs> there is literally no plot to these at all. This book is Turkey, a book that puts you to sleep. And there's only been one book that I, I distinctly remember falling asleep whilst reading, and that is Lord of the Flies. I don't have a physical copy of it. I had to read that for school, and it just was not for me. Question number three, Gravy, a book that made the whole series worth it. For me... That would be Breaking Dawn. This book really brought the whole series together and because of reading this book I happened to end up enjoying the entirety of Twilight by the time I got to this, you know, this book. I was invested in the story and this book really didn't make it worth it to have read the whole series for me. Question number four is stuffing, a book that is stuffed with action. And for me, I chose two different books, um, but honestly, it was really hard for me to pick anything because I was trying to think of something that's like really fast paced in the action, um, but I couldn't really decide. So I ended up picking these two different books. So first we have Renegades by Marissa Meyer, definitely focused on action as it focuses on superheroes and supervillains. And the second thing that I selected was Illuminae. Um, or the Illuminate Files, rather, like, the whole set of them is pretty action-y. Um, I know that some people probably won't see it that way because you are seeing the action, like, you're, like, watching it happen. However, I mean, at the end of the day, it's pretty action-y. I lost a peely. Wow. Question number five, mashed potatoes, a book that looked good but wasn't. I picked two different books for this, and... Um, the first one is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. It looks really good. It sounded really good. A lot of people were hyping it up and talking about it, but it just fell really flat for me and just did not meet my expectations. The next one is this one, Summer by Jillian and Mariko Tamiki. I can't, I can't, I, is it Tamiki? Tamiki. I can't remember which way they pronounce it for their names, but... Um, this one just had nothing, like, content-wise to the main characters, and it just, like, made me sad because, like, all the action was happening to other characters, not the main characters. I don't know. It, it just, like, was not what I was expecting and looking forward to. But the next question is book that has the sweetest romance. For me, this one was pretty difficult because there are so many romances. So I chose two different books to represent this. I chose When Dumple Met Rishi by, uh, Sen uh I, I don't remember. It's been so long since I had to pronounce it. Sendiha Minon. I was, I thought I was ready for this video. I was clearly not prepared for name pronunciations today. <laughs> More of a romance, like a, a contemporary romance book. But then I had to include, oh, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. You knocked the book over. It wasn't me. Um, I of course had to include the Infernal Devices. I forgot to say what food question six was it was cranberries cranberries for the sweetest romance now we're moving into question number seven which is corn the corniest book and for me that was kind of hard to choose anything in particular when it comes to like corny because to me everything for the most part has some semblance or you know element of cliche to it so I wasn't really able to pick anything specific if I had to choose just one book um, that was corny, I would choose the, uh, Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy, um, but again, I don't really like this question. <laughs> Sometimes you want that, so, I don't know, it's hard to define, like, a specific book for this question. Number eight, Green Beans, a book that should have been shorter. It was too long and it should have been cut down. For me is Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. Um, a lot of this book I had very, I was disappointed in this book. I started out at like a four, 
by the middle of the book I dropped down to a two star and then the end of the book I just decided to go in the middle and rate it three stars so I had very mixed feelings about it. I feel like though that if it hadn't have gone on for so long then maybe some of those two star elements would not have existed. The last book question is number nine, Pumpkin Pie, a book that would get you out of a reading slump. And I honestly haven't been in a reading slump, like a huge, like slumpy slump for a while. Um, but I have to say that if I were struggling to read anything at all and I just couldn't pick up any books that I would end up picking up, honestly, is probably Harry Potter. I did not grow up reading Harry Potter. I did not read Harry Potter until about two or three years ago, but it is just so, it is nostalgic feeling even for me, even having been a person that did not grow up with it, just because of the writing style and the way that it just kind of wraps you up in this fun world and it's, you know, it's just so fun to read and so easy to fall into. Um, and to keep turning the pages and so for me this would be definitely one of the books that I would probably reach for if I was struggling to read just because it's easy to read um, with the grade level and everything that you know it's definitely a middle grade so um, it's easy to read in that aspect and it also is easy to read in the fact that it's like a fun book to read and the series is fun so you could pick up any book in the series. For the last question it is dog or cat um, and it says what favorite food would you steal from the Thanksgiving table and for me I love so many of the foods of Thanksgiving. I mean I love the corn and the mashed potatoes. Oh the potatoes. Oh the blessings. I love desserts. I love so much of the food from Thanksgiving. But if I had to pick just one thing um, that's, I would choose, try to choose something that's more on the Thanksgiving side of things because those other foods are not so super Thanksgiving-y. They can be foods that you eat throughout the year. But one food stands out to me as being quintessentially Thanksgiving and that is stuffing. And I love it. While you're sitting around the table and giving thanks for all the people in your life, all the things you have, the job you have, blah blah blah, don't forget that you also should be thankful for who you are and how far you've come. You've made it a long way in this life and you have so many more opportunities ahead of you. So just keep your chin up and keep focused on those positives. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, your Scouts. <laughs>